think a lot of it has to do with just trying to find some balance. Each day has its own challenges and getting out and running helps me a lot in dealing with those. As a creative, distraction is detrimental and I suppose in some ways I'm trying to just escape that whenever I can. Being able to go outside and get into the flow state is necessary for me because it's really the time when I get to process my thoughts and also get most of my ideas. I used to hate running but it has become an important part of my life and definitely helps me to stay healthy and fit both mentally and physically. I often think about the beautiful places I would like to see and experience and forget about how much there is to see and do right there in my backyard. Feeling nature with zero distance and having access to beautiful outdoors is something I've grown to value a lot and never want to take for granted. There's a lot of talk about the environment and I try to do my part with choices I make to minimize my carbon footprint when I explore and move around. I believe it's the small choices that make a big difference in the long run. I love the simple things like taking a coffee break in a beautiful spot by the road, stretching my legs, trying to get out of the constant grind set and enjoying the space with zero disruption. technology there are so many things that make life comfortable and for me a part of finding balance means I need to challenge myself and get a little uncomfortable from time to time. I believe we all want in some ways to find meaning in what we do. That looks different for everyone but I believe it always has something to do with risk and reward. Whether it's taking physical risk, creative risk, being vulnerable in relationships or simply exposing yourself to new experiences, being willing to learn is always in some way or form risky, but often what makes each day uniquely rewarding. Exploring new places in nature and trying things that require my full attention is something I love doing and find inspiring. It feels like taking time to go into nature is talked about romantically, but in reality is often viewed as an unproductive and sort of meaningless way of using time. I mean, walking uphill for hours is not always particularly fun, or climbing a steep wall with frozen fingers, and the reward may not always be what we hope for. It's so much more about the journey, the small moments, and learning about yourself through those challenges that make it rewarding to go outdoors. It's a lot easier to appreciate the comfortable things in life after feeling a bit uncomfortable. For 
example, having a great car that takes me back home safely, or a car seat that gives me a nice massage, feels a lot sweeter when I have the perspective to appreciate it. Spending time in nature by myself is something I love doing, but at the end of the day, it's the experiences and memories shared with friends that make everything in life a little bit better and more memorable.